Well, with only four games left in the free league a season, we find ourselves in third, which would be a promotion playoff spot against the team from the two Bundesliga. And coming up, we take on a Heidenheim team in second, and we need points from these games because at the moment, only three points separate those between second and fifth on the free league table. Can we go up this season? Welcome to episode 27 of the Leipzig Loco with Locomotive Leipzig here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well and coming up today. As I said, big game in the second one of today's episode. We travel to take on second place Heidenheim. That one could be very big for where we do end up this season. And as well as that, before then, we look to continue a resurgence in form as we do host Elversburg. So if you're looking forward to those two games in today's episode, then do remember to go down below. Leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated, but we did get back on track in that second game of yesterday's episode before then. Just felt like we were on the decline a little bit, backing up a harsh 4-0 loss to Hoffenheim with a 1-0 loss at home to Kaiserslautern, and thankfully we made the most of taking on bottom of the table BFC Dynamo off the back of that and changed quite a few roles going in to taking on Ingolstadt and picked up a massive 5-0 win over those guys which did get us back inside of that top three. If you missed the episode, I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. Since then, we have just played the one game, seeing as it is a very tight race for promotion up to the two Bundesliga this season and behind Eintracht Braunschweig on top of the table who these days have a pretty significant six point gap so you'd imagine those guys should be going up to the two Bundesliga next season as champions but as I said just one game that we have played off the back of that it was against second bottom Holstein Kiel second 11 as you'd expect away from home especially off the back of that prior 5-0 win against an Ingolstadt team who at that point were inside of that top three we did pick up a 3-0 win two first half goals here through Jamal Ziani and Osman Atilgen and then Leon Heinke picked one up from a set piece in the second half yet again. Really good performance and made all the better because going into that game, we did suffer a significant injury, which is going to affect us during the course of today's episode, at least for this first game. Mattis Hasman pulled his hamstrings. So that did mean now with no Issa Dogen, we did have to call on the former third choice goalkeeper here at Lokomotiv Leipzig in Nicholas Muller these days. He is going to be first choice, of course, with that injury to Hasman, at least for this next game as well. Hopefully he'll be back for that big one as we do travel to take on Heidenheim. But there is Nicholas Muller. He is quite young and had a bit more potential than someone like Issa Dogen. So he is now the backup to Harman and did get his chance in that win over Holstein Kiel. And to be fair, actually played really well with a 7.7. So based on that, should hopefully... Do a decent job for us yet again in this next game against Albersburg and any further if it takes a little bit longer than expected for Hasman to recover from that pulled hamstrings. What that does mean for the league table going in to these last four games of the season, we find ourselves in third spot, which would be a promotion playoff against the third bottom team up in the two Bundesliga, albeit if we can win our remaining games, we would go up to second, of course, because one of those games, the second one of today's episode, is against Heidenheim, but we can still finish anywhere between that second spot automatic promotion down to fifth because Kaiserslautern are only two points behind us. Don't worry about the Schalke or Bayern seconds because those teams can't get promoted. So anyone between second and fifth still in the hunt for two of those four remaining promotion spots provided Einstein Braunschweig don't absolutely bottle things in their final three games of the season. But for us, it's pretty simple. If we win all our remaining games, we will finish in second on the table and get automatically promoted up to the two Bundesliga, which would be nice after we did finish fourth last season. Also, if things do go bad, we could finish down fifth or lower, depending on how those second teams do. And that would mean no cup football for next season like we had at the start of this one, which would affect us a little bit financially. So hopefully, at the very least, we can at least match our performance from last season and finish in that fourth spot, where ideally there'd be some improvement and we can finish in either second or third and give ourselves a chance of getting up to the two Bundesliga for next season. But first up today, we are taking on a team a little bit further down the table in SV Elversburg. These guys 
are an okay team. I think our form against them so far in the save has been pretty decent. So hopefully that does continue, especially with this one at home. They are in 10th, predicted to finish 12th. And as you can see, their form of late has been quite mixed. But with this one being in front of our home fans and on that recent form, you'd like to think we can pick up three points here before we do take on Heidenheim in what could be a massive game. And those guys, you'd expect as they take on SV Meppen in between now and then, you'd expect them to pick up maximum points from that game. That could be a really big one. And if we do beat them, hopefully we'll get us into one of those automatic promotion spots in behind Einschlag Braunschweig. And as I said, hopefully by then as well, we will have our first choice goalkeeper back in Matisse Hasman. And also hopefully we get a bit of revenge on these guys after we didn't beat them earlier in the season at home when we did have a one-man advantage for all of the second half. So that one away from home is going to be tough, but could be, as I said, a massive one in our promotion push. And that's what's coming up. In today's episode, and we'll get into the action, as hopefully we can keep on our winning ways as we host Elversburg. And here are the team sheets for this first game of today's episode. Just that one change for us, and it does come and go with Muller coming in for the injured Hasman. But apart from that, we are the same as we were for that second game of yesterday's episode, that 5-0 win over Ingolstadt. Elversburg going with a 4-2-3-1, as you saw before. They are in mixed form halfway up the table, and hopefully we can stay in one of those promotion spots. And with only five minutes left in this first half, we eventually get the first highlight. Here is a goal kick in our favor. We roll it out to our fullbacks as we started doing in that second game. Obviously, today's episode, nice ball out there looking for a Tilgan, but unfortunately not that nice. A little bit too much on, and Heger can claim that for Alversburg. So far in this game, we are dominating nine shots to one but both teams with the same amount on target. So, so far, we have been a little bit wasteful. Danny Hummel, they had the ball down that right-hand side, still playing quite well. So it is in there over Michael Wusu. We do give the ball away there, but thankfully good work there from Leon Heinke. Gets us back on the attack and the man that we just mentioned. And Danny Hummel, far post to Tilgen, gets to it before the goalkeeper comes out and claims it. Open net, but unfortunately... Puts that one just over the bar. In fact, just before that last highlight started, Alversburg must have got their shots up because it did end up being 11 shots to three in that first half at halftime. Just that one highlight, a Tilgen missing an open net. And we go into the sheds at nil all, but it does feel like we certainly are the better team in this game. So I don't think based on player ratings, we need to change too much. We just tell them our shooting needs to improve because only one on target from 11, not good enough. But hopefully, we can put the ball in the back of the net at some stage during the second half and grab all three points. We'll get things back underway. Still locked up at nil all. And just past the hour mark, we are going to make our first substitution in this game because Danny Hummel is going okay. But I do feel like it could be a bit of a difference maker today on the bench. And Mike Awusu, so that'll be our first change. Doesn't still feel like we're playing that badly. But we're under a half hour left. Still nil all in this one. And only a few minutes off the back of that first substitution, we are going to make a few more here as lots of players are down two red hearts. We're going to ring the changes. Bullen will come on for a Tilgen. Also, Lehman for Weigel will bring on Lamptey for Heinke and Vufak for Linus Zimmer. So that will be all our substitutions made. And hopefully, we can continue to be dominant in this game and eventually pick up a goal. Still locked up at nil all. And with just over 15 minutes left, we finally get another highlight in this game. It's a free kick there to Alvis Bergen. I think that was Muller who got his head on the end of that one. Thankfully, just goes over the bar. Eagles Eater has picked up a yellow card. Hopefully, that doesn't prove too decisive. Entering the last 10 minutes, still nil all. And just about to enter injury time in this game, there's going to be four minutes of it. And we have a late throw in here in our favor. We just put a lot more players on attacking duties and also told them to up the tempo. Wosu with a shot, but to be fair, that one was very weak and was always going to be quite safe there for Higa. And hopefully something won't happen now down the other end. Hopefully our form won't go out the window off the back of me closing the game after those wins we did pick up prior to today's episode. Ball over the top there and they now have a player inside the box. They square that one, but thankfully it's deflected and Muller can make a save. So chances there down both ends. We'll go very attacking, see if that does anything here in the remainder of injury time. But that could prove to be a costly nil or draw. It might mean we do drop points in that race for promotion and could even fall outside of that top three, which we did get ourselves back into off the back of yesterday's episode. Thankfully, 
at the moment. We are still in third, but now a decent gap to close on Heidenheim. We are three points behind them after they beat SB Meppen 3-1 away from home. Also Ingolstadt now joint with us, but our goal differential is a little bit better. And Kaiserslautern probably won't go above us with that goal differential the way it is, but they do have a game in hand and could also join us on points when we do get into that second game of today's episode. So now, with only three games left, we are three points behind the team who are in an automatic promotion spot. Hopefully, we can come back and beat Heidenheim and keep ourselves in one of those promotion spots. And here are the team sheets for this big second versus third clash in the free league of era Heidenheim in great form with their 4-2-3-1 for us. Hasman comes back in for Muller and goal and also Eagles is suspended so a Hindu will come in for him otherwise. Same team from that first game. Big match day is as well as this game. Ingle start take on Kaiserslautern. So lots of permutations, lots of movement could happen off the back of this one. But hopefully we can do the job away at Heidenheim. And we get an early highlight in this game, which is nice off the back of a very quiet first one at home against Alversburg. It's a free kick here. Weigel will take this with Awosu on the bench. Unfortunately, though, that one goes wide. Still no all early doors. And up to the 10 minute mark, we are now down the other end here for a throw in to Heidenheim. Calls Vida was on the ball there. He, of course, was a player who was very instrumental in that first game we played against them. A 4-2 loss at home. He picked up a double before he did get sent off early in that second half. But still, unfortunately, we could not pick up a win. Hummel there tries to put a ball into the mixer, but unfortunately, can't find a teammate. And now, Koffer here does get in behind for Heidenheim, but good marking from Zimmer. They do have to knock this one outside of the box. Stark there. Back to Spousal, and that is a wonderful strike. He beats Hasman there. In that top corner, at his near post, and that is not the start we wanted away from home. We go 1-0 down, and now we could be falling down the table outside of a promotion spot. It's a very good strike, and somehow Hasman does get beaten there, really, from an angle he shouldn't. But to be fair, it did go top bins, and we go 1-0 down. And just past the halfway mark in this first half, we do get our next highlight here, and it is Heidenheim trying to make their way out from the back, but good work there from Ziani. To get the ball back for us now, Danny Hermel from a tight angle also looks to beat the goalkeeper. Top corner near post, but unfortunately, their one does make a save. So we are still 1-0 behind. And there's a very late corner in our favour here in this first half. So far, this has been an even game, but we find ourselves 1-0 behind. Looking there for Heinke at the far post. It's put back there in the mix. Ziani gets that over the line off the underside of the crossbar. And he was on side for That might get blown up there for offside. It did look a little bit too good to be true. But the goal will stand, and thankfully, we're going to equalize this right before half time. Really kind of flexion that from the underside of the crossbar. Good work there as well from Lucas Search to put that one back into the mixer for him. And we go into the sheds, locked up at one all, and that does feel like a fair reflection on that first half, as you can see by the stats. Both teams with limited chances, but thankfully, we did take one late to get it back. 2-1, or we're going to make a substitution here. Daniela Hindu struggling at centre-back. Mark Lamptey will come on for him, but otherwise, fairly happy with how we are going. And hopefully, that goal right on the brink of half-time gives us some momentum going into the second half. We'll get things back underway, locked up at one all. And just show of the hour mark, we get the first highlight here in the second half. It is a free kick there in favour of Heidenheim. Their goalkeeper is out of the box to take that, but they now look to play out from the back. Go for a ball over the top and look at is going to get there before I believe that will be Zimmer out at left back. And he starts to cut inside, but thankfully we mark him well. Now sponsor again with a shot. That one, a worm burner. Thankfully, though, goes just wide of the post. So it is still one all. And in fact, while we are here, we're going to make a few more substitutions at this time. A few of our players out there are just struggling a little bit. Punzel when he's still on a 6.5. Ben Luca Fisher can come on for him at right back. And we'll change that right-hand side. Awusu can come on yet again for this last half hour, still one all. And very shortly off the back of those substitutions down that right-hand side, we do have a throw-in on that exact side, and it is there, Fisher to Ziani, back to Fisher, puts that one into the mixer, and Mark Lamp on a yellow card, will head that one home, just as I saw that, Ingle start, are beating Kaiserslautern, that could be a big goal, to keep us in a promotion spot, and it is a set-piece goal, of course these days, we are playing four set-pieces, and Fisher, immediate impact, on that right-hand side, Mark Lamptey out jumps the goal scorer and sponsor for Heidenheim and gives us a 2-1 lead with 20 minutes left. 
And in fact, right off the back of that goal, we are going to make our last couple of substitutions. We have two left and two players are uh, down two red hearts. First off, Eric Vufak will come on for Heinke. And with that, we might just shuffle things around a little bit. At the back, also Lehman will come on for Weigel. With that in mind, I think what we might do here is just put Mark Lamptey in that DM role. Luca Fisher can go in the centre back and Vufak out to right back. So a bit of a shuffle around there at the back. But hopefully, before our sub is used, we can hold on to this 2-1 lead in this big second versus third clash. And yet again, there's a late highlight in this game. This time it's a free kick, though, in our favour. We have been time-wasting since the 85-minute mark. And Awusu here with a chance to make sure we do grab a cushion goal. He looks there for that top left corner goalkeeper. Goes for the save, but unfortunately goes just wide. Four minutes yet again of injury time. As you can see, this one, a very even game. But thankfully, even though we did pick up a lot of yellow cards late, this time did not get players to ease off tackles with how big that game was. But we do pick up a 2-1 win that goal right before halftime from a corner through Jamal Ziani was a big one. Gave us some momentum in that second half. You can tell there by the XG match story, we certainly had the better chances in that half and thankfully put one away from a throw-in, put into the mixer by Fisher and Mark Lamptey. Headed that one home and now we see what impact that has. On the table, Ingolstadt also picked up a 2-1 win over Kaiserslautern. So that means now there are three teams joint on 70 points. We are in third because of our goal differential but it does mean still a lot to play for in those last two games. But we keep ourselves in a promotion playoff spot with a 2-1 win away at Heidenheim. So a big win for us there in that second game of today's episode. Hopefully that draw in the first one doesn't prove too costly. If we picked up a win in that one, like we probably should have, we would be two points clear of Heidenheim in second spot. And we'd actually be able to put some pressure on the league leaders in Eintracht Braunschweig. Because as you can see, they have lost that game that they had to play a few days later, 1-0 away at Wehen Westbound. So it does now condense that top four significantly going in to the final two match days. Also, Kaiserslautern are still in the promotion hunt, even though these days they are down in sixth, only three points behind. So it is still a five-horse race for promotion. But we find ourselves in a decent spot, third on the table because of goal differential, only three points behind the league leaders but do need to still get the job done in our last two games in tomorrow's episode. Otherwise, we could still drop down as far as fifth and miss out on cup football for next season. But that will do it for today's episode. Sets things up quite nicely for the finale of the league season tomorrow. Of course, we might still have to come back after that and play a promotion playoff if the table does stay the way that it is at the moment. If you enjoyed that one, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up, on the video and if you haven't done so already and are enjoying the series here on the channel also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well obviously we're coming back for the next two games our last two of the season in tomorrow's episode and we'll see if that means we will go up automatically play a promotion playoff or not even get the chance to go up to the two Bundesliga our last two games we host Duisburg those guys down in eighth hopefully a game we can win and then a rematch from what was probably our most entertaining game of the season before the winter break. We will travel away to take on the Bayern seconds for all draw at home last time. That one is a really tricky affair on the final day of the season, but hopefully we can pick up wins in both of those games and that will make sure we at least get the chance to try and go up to the two Bundesliga and hopefully Heidenheim might also slip up in their last two games and we might actually sneak up into a automatic promotion spot and as I said if things go wrong we might have to spend another season in the free league and might even miss out on cup football for next season so still all three options on the table going in to those last two games of the season we'll do those tomorrow so until then thank you very much for watching keep on keeping on and I'll see you then cheers